Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm going to show you one way of refocusing the lens on your Yi 4K Plus. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is just show you the way that I went about setting my focus again on my Yi 4K Plus after I took the lens out and put it back in again. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to have a manually focusable lens. Now this will also work as well, if say for instance, you're somebody who's damaged their lens and had to get it replaced, you would still have to refocus it after you've put the replacement lens in. Now this particular method will work for a Yi light as well and a Yi 4K. And I dare say it will also work for many other action cameras as well, where you've got a round barrel around the lens itself. Now the reason why I've got to do it this particular way is because the Yi 4K Plus, just like many other action cameras, doesn't have a full HD output coming out of it because if it did do, all I'd have to do there is just literally plug the action camera into an external monitor start focusing the lens, look at the monitor, get it right, and then mark off on the body somewhere, which tells me that the lens is in focus. But obviously I can't do it with this one, so I have to do it a different way. So what I've done here, I've just got a piece of paper, I've marked off 21 millimeter spaces on it with a ruler and a pen, and then I've wrapped that piece of paper around the lens and then kind of sellotaped it on. You could also use some kind of sticky paper or something, but I just didn't have that at the time, so I just kind of sellotaped it on. And then what I've done, I've just put another piece of paper on the body, I've then put a mark on that, and then what happens is that mark then becomes my focus mark. Now after you've put the markers on the lens and also your focus mark on the body, what you then need to do is go outdoors in relatively good light and go somewhere where you've got a lot in the field of view and some distance as well. Set the camera on top of a tripod so it's all locked off. And then what you need to do is set your camera to its highest resolution and its widest field of view. And then get your face mark that you've got on the barrel turn it round until it lines up with the actual kind of focus mark you've put on the body. Take a picture or take a piece of video with that and then mark off or say like, you know, in my instance, I just said, I think focus mark one or something like that. And then turn round to the next one and then say the same for that focus mark two and then three, four and go right the way through that range. And then what you then do, you come back indoors and you put all that footage into your video editing system and then line it up in the timeline. And then you've got a clear indication as to what you've done outdoors. Now, rather than just like explain that bit, I will show you what I mean. Okay, so as we can see, I am now in my NLE system. So I'm gonna run through the clips that have captured and also how I deal with it in the timeline. But before I do that, I just need to mention I've forgotten something during the introduction period of this video. And that is that the lens is obviously glued to the barrel or the barrel is glued to the lens, obviously because the barrel has to turn the lens. So I just forgot to mention that before. So there you go. Okay, so once we're in the edit system here, what I do, I bring all the individual clips into me bin over here. And then what I'll do, I'll just play the first couple so you can hear what happens. So on the first one here. One. As you could hear there, I shout one. So that's in reference to it's at the first millimeter mark. And then here's the second clip. Two. And there you go, so that's two. Now I've done about 20 clips there. And then what it is, this particular one that I'm doing here is for distance, so things like the trees in the background and the sky and stuff, the clouds and whatnot. Then what I do, I literally get all my clips that I've got there, bring them into the timeline, and then what I can do, I can either play through, I won't play through here because it'll just take you like ages watching through all of these, but literally I just kind of go through and scan through the timeline, and what will happen, it'll start blurry down here, It'll get sharp somewhere around here, then it'll get blurry again down there. So what I'm gonna do, I'll go full screen, and then I'll just go through to the beginning or the first frame of each of these video clips and we'll clearly see exactly what goes on. Okay, so I'm full screen now. So it's gonna be blurry, then it'll start getting a bit clearer and a bit more sharper. At some point you'll go, okay, that's maybe where I want 
want me focus mark there for this particular view and then it'll start going back out of focus again okay so let me just run through this really quickly I'll go backwards and then I'll go forwards again okay there we go then what I'll do I'll show you the other thing that I've done with it so with this particular one I'm obviously trying to gauge like you know my best focus for distance off that one and then what I've done I've got another one here which is exactly the same I've got a bin here with all these clips in and what this one is for is obviously for the vlogging close distance one so again I'll just play a couple of these clips quickly one here we go so I'm obviously one is millimeter one Two. two is millimeter two and so on and so forth and the same thing here as well it'll start off blurry start getting sharper and then it'll go blurry again at the end so I'll just go full screen and show that okay I'll just run backwards quickly and forwards one more time So there we go then, that is exactly how I've gone about refocusing the lens and setting it for my Yi 4K Plus. Like I said before, that method will work for other Yi cameras and other action cameras. Now, you know, you don't have to copy that exactly the same way, but if elements of that particular way you're doing it help you to kind of do your way of doing it, then brilliant jobs are good. And now the reason why I did this is because I wanted to have three focus points or three focus marks on my camera. One of them was for macro photography or macro video to get really close to stuff. And if you have a look here at this link that should be popping up now or in the descriptions, you'll be able to go to a video which shows you this method being used for doing macro video recording. Then I also needed to have another mark set on the barrel so I could get the camera this close for doing really close vlog and stuff. Because don't forget, the Yi 4K Plus is capable of a very wide field of view, which means you can get in really close to stuff. So I wanted to have a very, very sharp focus for that point. And then the other one was to be able to turn it around and go to infinite focus and have like stuff far off into the distance in the best possible focus ever. So there we go. That's how have done it that's what it was for and hopefully it's helped people so yeah i've been david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now